Hello fellow dog lovers, welcome back to the channel, Petastics TV. I'm Peter, and today we're tackling a hot topic, quite literally. Have you ever wondered the safety of taking your furry friend out for a walk in blistering 100 degree weather? Well, strap in because we're about to delve into the scorching details and equip you with all the information you need to make the best decision for your pup's well-being. Walking your dog in 100 degree weather can pose serious risk to their health. Did you know that dogs are more susceptible to heat stroke than humans? It's a fact. Our four-legged companions can't regulate their body temperature as effectively as we can, making them more prone to overheating and extreme heat. According to a study conducted by the American Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, temperatures as low as 86 degrees Fahrenheit can trigger heat stroke in dogs. Just imagine the impact of 100 degree weather on your beloved furry friend. So, what steps can you take to ensure your dog's safety in scorching conditions? Here are some essential tips to help you navigate the dog days of summer. Mm. Can you repeat the part of the stuff where you said all about the uh, things? No, let's just jump right in. Number one. Timing is crucial. Avoid walking your dog during the hottest part of the day. Opt for early morning or late evening walks when the sun's intensity is reduced. Number two, hydration is vital. Always carry ample water for both you and your pup. Dehydration can set in rapidly in high temperatures, so ensure those water bowls are filled to the brim. Number three, protect those precious paws. Prior to hitting the pavement, check the temperature of the ground. Hot surfaces can scorch your dog's sensitive paw pads, so seek out grassy or shaded areas for your walks. Before we continue, if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd love it if you do me a huge favor, throw me a bone, take your paw, and hit the like and subscribe button. I make all types of dog content that you don't want to miss out on in the future. One more thing, want to knock the kids out at bedtime? If you love dogs, kids, and books, check out my new book. You sure it was a book? Are you sure it wasn't? Nothing. No, no, it's definitely a book. Go check it out. It's called Good Night Puppy and it's available now on Amazon. It's a bedtime story for kids. I'll leave a link below in the description. Big thank you to everybody who's purchased the copy. Number four, keep it short and sweet. Limit your walks to shorter durations and take frequent breaks in the shade. Your dog will appreciate the rest and you'll both stay cooler. Number five, watch for the warning signs. Be vigilant for symptoms of heat exhaustion in your dog, such as excessive panting, drooling, or weakness. If you observe any of these signs, it's time to head home and cool off. If things don't clear up soon, contact your veterinary office. The ideal temperature range for most dogs is between 50 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. When the mercury climbs above 90 degrees, dogs can struggle to cope with the heat, leading to heat exhaustion or even heat stroke. Heat stroke is a life-threatening condition that occurs when a dog's body temperature rises to dangerous levels, causing damage to internal organs and potentially resulting in death. Symptoms of heat stroke again include rapid panting, drooling, vomiting, diarrhea, lethargy, and collapse. If you suspect your dog is suffering from heat stroke, it's crucial to act quickly and seek veterinary care immediately. Remember, your furry friend relies on you to make the best choices for their health and happiness. By following the tips and guidelines mentioned above, you can ensure your dog's safety and comfortable during hot weather conditions. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Again, if you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. Also remember to check out our book. There's a link below in the description. And there'll be two videos on screen for your enjoyment now. Hope to catch you in the next one. Have a possum day. Thanks. Bye.